How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back in another video. I've been telling uh, a lot of people that I'm going to be making another pry bar, a pallet pry bar, uh, that can do boards that are closer together. So that's going to be my project today, is building a pallet pry bar. Uh, something that you can get in smaller cracks than the other ones. I had actually made, uh, this will be the third pallet pry bar, and eventually I'll get a really good one. It's just taking time to try to figure out different ways of building them. So this one here, I'm going to be building out of a piece of half inch steel. Um, I think it's half inch by two inch. <clears throat> it's half inch by two inch uh, flat bar. Uh, hopefully we can get this to work without it bending. So if that's going to be a hard one, but we're going to try it. If it works, it works. If it don't, hey, at least we tried. So let's get to doing this. <clears throat> now our first step in this build is going to be finding out how long we want our bar to be from here to here. And if we're saying that our boards are close together, which these are not, but this is the only pallet I could find offhand. Uh, so I'm going to say the opening is only, this is half inch, so we'll be able to get boards off that are half inch apart. Just so this thing fits down between the boards, we should be able to get it off. So what I'm going to do is, is I don't want this to go down if it, they're real tight and they go down that far, we don't want this piece here to be too long because you got to get down in there and then twist it. So if it goes down to there, that's about where we want our bend to be, about right in here. So what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll clamp this up in a vise. We'll get it heated up and then we're going to bend it. But we got to make sure we put our bend above this mark right here. That way when you go down, you'll be able to get it in and bend this up, pull the board off. So let's get this thing heated up and get it bent right there. This is going to be on this one here. It's probably only the width of a 2 before. It's 4 inches. It's about four inches right here. So we're gonna have a four inch pry bar. So we're gonna get this thing heated up. All right, we got us a pretty hot piece of steel here. See if we can get this boy bent. I got this bar here is kind of the goal I'm going for. That looks like it might be about it. Okay, we got a bend in there. We'll be cutting it off about in there. Okay, I got it cooled off here. And we got the bend that we need. And we're going to leave about four inches here. So it just might be a little bit over eight inches of stock. This looks like to be about eight and a half inches of stock there. So we're going to try to leave four inches flat here and four inches flat here. That way we could weld our pipe on here that we could use to pry with. And then we have to weld two pieces on the side of this that could use for leverage to pry up and down. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing cut off right here. Okay, so this is what we got to work with so far. Now I took it down on that pallet, slid this part underneath the board. It looks to me like our pieces need to be, that's going to pry up off to the sides, right in here. So if we do, I don't know what I want to do, a flat bar or a round bar. Because really, I could put a round bar across here and pry up on it, which will land it about right in that spot. So I'm going to figure that out and then I'll get you guys back. All right. <clears throat> Okay, I've been thinking about this, and I had a piece of three-quarter inch rebar. 
it's pretty heavy rebar and it's pretty heavy steel half inch steel three quarter inch rebar if we welded that thing in there and that would let us go through a half inch crack to get the re or to get our pallets apart and uh, I'd leave about an inch and a half hang over each side because that's about the width of a two before and it already has grooves on it so we don't have to cut anything into it to hold to grip onto the uh, uh, wood so this may be a good thing to use so we're gonna give it a try I think we'll give it a try with this uh, heavy rebar and I think it's gonna work so we'll get this thing welded on here I left it actually you could see I want that rebar to be above this line right here that way when you put it down in that crack you'll be able to pry up now if anything this is not gonna fit in the crack but this will so we'll still be able to get that wood off and be able to run that thing all the way through hopefully we'll give it a try that's all we could do so we're gonna get it put on there all right we got our rebar on here and you can see our lines right here we want to stay just above this line right here so uh, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and get this thing welded on here Okay, this is what we got so far. We got a bar on here. That's a three-quarter inch bar. Uh, it's about five and three-quarter, uh, four and three-quarter inches long. Three-quarter inch round. And then we have about eight and a half inches of this uh, two by half inch uh, flat bar. So we got that welded on there. What we're going to do now is this is the piece that's going to go underneath our wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this guy over here and I'm going to put a little bit of a uh, taper on this edge so we can get it down in between the boards. And I'm just going to use a four inch grinder and grind that thing down until we get a little bit of a taper on it. Okay, we got a little bit of a taper on there, not much, but I think it'll be fine to get it down in the wood, between the wood, nice little taper on there. I think that's gonna work out just fine. So we're gonna go ahead and get to putting a handle on this guy. All right, everything's looking pretty good. We got us a piece of handle here. I measured this down two and a half inches. I wanna put it down on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a slot, a half inch slot out of here, and we're gonna weld it all the way around on both sides. We're going to slide it right down inside there just like that. And uh, hopefully this will make a good little handle for this thing. So we're going to go ahead and get to cutting this thing. Getting its slots out of it. All right, now we got this thing lined up pretty decent. We're gonna go ahead and weld it all the way around and hopefully we'll have us a good handle on this. Good sturdy handle. Okay, we got us a good sturdy weld on there. This guy looks good, it looks good and strong. I weld it all the way up and down, same way on both sides. I think it's going to look 
think it's gonna work out pretty good. We'll find out. We'll be trying that on the pallet here in no time. Okay, this thing is officially built. Uh, we're not going to put any paint on it until after we give it a try. We got to give this thing a try and see what it does. Now we got a little bit of a taper on here now, which should help us get between the boards. Uh, we're using half inch steel. Hopefully it won't bend. Three quarter inch rebar through here with a nice pipe on it. Let me get a size on this pipe. I think this is a outside diameter is an inch and a quarter on this pipe. And the length of it I've been using, and this is on all three of mine, about 40, 41 and a half inches. Now I built three of these guys, and they're all different. So we're going to give this one a try, and we'll see how it does. Alright, this is the only pallet that I could find on hand. And I had to go pick it up. And to be honest with you, it looks like somebody put about 10,000 nails on each side. So, um... I don't know what they were thinking when they were nailing this thing together, but I'm going to show you the nail holes. So, they didn't just put a couple nails. I mean, they got gobs of nails in this thing. I think somebody got carried away uh, with the nail gun. And over here, it's just as bad. Uh, I don't know if they were repairing this pallet or someone just didn't know how to use a nail gun. Uh, this thing here has enough nails in it we could build a house. So, uh, we're going to do our best on giving you a video on this thing uh, working, this pry bar. So, uh, we'll, we'll start off. Now, like I said, we wanted to be able to get between tight boards, but there's no way I'm going to get between those ones because uh, there is no space at all. So, what I'm thinking is if we would had a real tight one, we could stick it straight down in here and then pry up a little bit until we can get the whole thing down in there and hopefully it'll pop them off and I think it's working pretty good actually yeah we better do this first that tip might be a little bit long on there if you have to I'll cut it off a little bit It seems to work okay, but I'm thinking that tip might be a little bit long for this. Zip wants to get the other side of the board. See, it's a little bit longer than the board. But some of these things have bigger and longer boards, wider boards too. So it does work. Now, does it work as good as the other ones? I don't know. All right, we just got through building the red one, the one in the center. That was a pretty simple pry bar. It's just a piece of rebar, a piece of half inch, uh, flat stock, and a pipe. And it seemed to work pretty good, but I don't have any pallets that have the real tight uh, gaps in them, so I really can't try it. Now I thought maybe the tip on that might have been a little bit too big, but I'm looking at the other ones, and it's actually smaller than the other ones, so we're not going to do nothing to it, we're going to leave it alone. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'll post another video, I'll take all three of these, pal or all three of these pallet pry bars, and we'll get some pl uh, pallets in here, and we'll try them out and see which one works the best. I think the hardest one to build would have been the very first one, and that was the yellow one. Uh, there was a lot of welding to it, and it goes between the two befores, and then if you got a big board on the side, it really can't fit over it. These guys here seem to work a lot better uh, because they they can go on the side. You know, you, you don't have to you don't have to go uh, you don't have to split it in the board. So uh, they seem to work a little better. That one actually works better if you're using it on two befores. So. Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll get some pallets in here and we'll give them a try. And uh, you guys keep watching. I'll get that posted as soon as I can, as soon as I can get some pallets. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.